What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia if you are new here. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be recreating this iconic look from the movie Jennifer's Body, which Megan Fox stars in. And I'm going to be trying to kind of mimic Megan's features a little bit with my makeup, as well as recreate the costume with things that I have purchased. So without further ado, let's jump on into this Megan Fox transformation. So the first thing and the most obvious that I need to do is I need to pop in some blue colored contacts. So these ones are from the brand Lens.me. I will link them down below if you want to check those out. They are like the perfect shade of blue. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put these like bright eye drops in just to kind of like whiten my eyes a bit. They do tend to get a bit red when I put contacts in. Fun fact, I used to have to wear prescription contacts for about 15 or more years, maybe 17 years I wore prescription contacts. I got LASIK a couple years back, best decision I ever made. So if you were considering it, save up. It is 100% worth the money, I promise. Okay, now that we have the contacts in, the next thing that we actually need to tackle is my hairline. And that might sound really weird, but your hairline really plays a big part in the shape of your face. So my face is kind of, I don't know, it's like oval and long. And her, she has more of a rounded hairline here, so I actually picked up some of this L'Oreal Dark Brown Instant Root Concealer Spray. And I'm just going to be kind of like filling in my receding hairline, if you will. Basically this area here, just to kind of like round it off more. This is kind of messy. I need to buy like a shield or something to kind of like protect my head more from it. And my fingers. <laughs> But yeah, kind of just like that. And it's gonna look a little crazy at first. And then you're just gonna do it to both sides. So like, see, I get it all over my hand. I'm gonna have to use some like, um, makeup remover or something to fix that. Okay, now that we have the hairline and the eyes sorted, I'm gonna go right into makeup now. And I'm actually gonna be using this Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. I feel like, you know, in that movie, Megan is like 10 years younger than me. Her skin is very glowy and youthful. So that's kind of how I'm gonna mimic that because my skin is kind of dry right now. And my eyes are burning. They're just gonna like be burning and watering for a bit. So just ignore that. The contacts don't actually hurt at all. My eyes are just not used to it anymore at all. And then I'm just gonna also be adding a pore minimizing primer because again, youthful complexion, you don't really have a lot of pores showing. So you can use really any pore filling one if you're looking for like an inexpensive one. The e.l.f. Putty Pore Primer, I think it's called. It has really good reviews. A lot of people really like that one. This one I think is the, I think it's, I always get it wrong. I say Too Faced, but it could be something different. It could be Smashbox, I don't know, I'm sorry. Now I've got the pores filled in, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with my NYX BB Cream, and this is in the shade 01 Nude. I think it's the lightest shade. My skin is very fair right now. I purposely didn't self tan because I knew I was gonna be doing this costume. And Jennifer in Jennifer's body is very pale. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and really press all of that into the skin, make sure it's nice and seamless. Then I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Sand. And I believe this is the regular one, not the hydrating one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set the concealer in place so that it doesn't crease with my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is just like a translucent powder. It's really finely milled, and I really like this for setting. You can set your entire face with it too, but I'm not gonna go that far yet because I do have another cream product I'm going to be using. So this is where we get to have some fun with contouring and really shaping the face to be a bit more like Megan's. And Megan has a more square chin area here than I do. Mine, while my chin is kind of bigger, it's more rounded at the end and I also have a dimple in it. And also that kind of just changes again how my jaw is shaped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and square out the end of my face a little bit. So I'm going to be doing that with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. This is really good for sculpting and just really getting like a defined look. Also we want to give a more kind of like rounded cheek look. Again, when you're younger, your cheeks are a little bit fuller and you don't wanna to go too chiseled with it. So what I'm gonna do 
because I'm gonna kind of like curl up the corners. Just to kind of lift the cheeks a bit, it'll just give it a more lifted and not so harsh effect. And Megan's face isn't overly contoured in this movie. Back in like mid 2000s, we didn't really do a lot of that, but I do just need to kind of shape my face a tiny bit more. So I am just using my Makeup Revolution contour palette and I'm just using this shade here. And I'm just gonna kind of like be bronzing my forehead just to kind of like shrink it a bit and continue rounding it out. And also just setting that cream contour that we just did. Now Megan's nose is shaped quite a bit different than mine. My nose goes up, whereas hers is more straight out. So we're just going to be shaping that a little bit. And the bridge of her nose during this video is a little bit wider than mine. So I'm gonna be bringing that nose contour not so far in, if that makes sense. And instead of doing like the little bit on the top that I normally do, I'm not going to be doing that. And then her nostrils kind of go more like that. And her nose is a bit wider at the tip. So we're going to end up with something like that. And that's all I'm going to do for the contour. Like I said, her face is not overly contoured, so we want to keep it that way. And then I'm going to be taking this really pretty pinky blush here. This is by Clinique and the palette is called the Cheek Pop Palette. And I'm just going to be taking my normal blush brush and really applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Again, this is going to make my cheeks look fuller and it's going to give more of a youthful appearance. When you put the blush just like up high, it does give you a really nice sculpted effect and I do love that sometimes. But because of the way her makeup is in this video, I'm gonna more focus it on the apples. So Megan's brows are thinner than mine and they are also more angular. So I'm going to brush them up and back and what I'm gonna to have to do is shape them a bit more like rectangularly if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna be taking a dark brown cool toned eyeshadow to be doing this and a angled brush. And her brows are not super close together and neither are mine so that makes that part easier. So instead of going with like the normal slope that I have, hers come to more of like a point. They're a bit sharper. So I'm just trying to mimic that and kind of square my brows off as much as possible. I actually used to do my brows like this all the time in college when it was like the trend to have the real sharp looking brows. And her eye makeup's pretty simple. It's kind of just like a dark top liner and some black eyeliner and a little bit of maybe like a neutral eyeshadow. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm going to be taking kind of just like a warm brown color from my Tarte in Bloom palette. Oh, actually that's what I think this is. I think that that primer is from Tarte. I was wrong. So I'm just gonna do this and just kind of warm up that crease, give it a little bit more definition so the eyes don't look so flat. And I'm just gonna take that same angle brush that I just did my eyebrows with and I'm gonna go in with a jet black eyeshadow and I'm gonna darken up the upper lash line because I'm not gonna do an actual full on liquid liner. I feel like it's too harsh. And I'm not gonna do a crazy wing either. Again, very minor, just to kind of give that cat eye effect. And I don't think she really has much other eyeshadow on. So now I'm going to go in with an eyeliner because she always wears the black liner. And this is just the Revlon Colorstay black liner. And then I'm just gonna take this really thin, I think it's an eyeshadow brush, and I'm actually gonna dip into that black. And I'm really just gonna smoke out the eyeliner a bit, make it look a little bit more 
messy, not so perfect. So this is the look you're gonna end up with and then I'm just gonna go in with a mascara and put that on because I don't think she's wearing false lashes or if she is, they're not really anything dramatic. Again, this was in 2009, so false lashes weren't as big as they are now. I just love this mascara so much. It's the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It's a little expensive, but worth every penny. So my eyebrows were looking a little too thick, so I went in with a pointed Q-tip and some micellar water, and I just kind of took down a bit on the top just to thin them a tiny bit. So now that we've got eyes out of the way, it's time to move on into lips, and Megan has very beautiful full lips. Her top lip does kind of go up a bit, so we're going to be doing a little contouring to really try to shape the lips and get them looking more like Megan's. So I'm actually taking just an eyeshadow brush and a cool contour shade and this will kind of mimic a shadow under and on top of the lip and I'm just gonna be putting it right below that lip and up here and that's gonna just start making your lips look a bit more full now Megan has much rounder lips my mouth's kind of wider where hers is more round so we're actually going to be tracing with lip liner, but instead of following the natural lip line, I'm going to cut it just a little short. So you can see I kind of went up just before the end of my lip, and that kind of gives my lips more of a rounded look. And you only want to overline the center, never on the sides. And she doesn't really have much of a cupid's bow, so we're just going to kind of be going straight across that. And same thing here, instead of going all the way down the lip, we're going to cut it short. And that's gonna give that more pillowy, pouty lip effect. And I'm just going to be going in with a lip liner in a slightly more mauve shade. And this is actually the Charlotte Tilbury um, lip pencil in the shade Super Size Me. And I'm gonna be putting a little bit of tinted pink lip gloss on. This is from Burt's Bees and it's the shade Pink Blossom. Just to kind of blend that whole look together. It's a lot of steps for lips, I know, but then I'm adding another sort of tint. This one's glossier. And it's really just going to juice up your lips even more. And the last step, still lips, I know, seems crazy. It's going to be a lip plumping volumizer. Again, she has really big juicy lips, so we really want to play that up as best we can. And now we're going to set the face and then we can move on into outfit and accessories. Okay, so I'm going to go put on my outfit and I'll be right back for the final reveal. Other line, hold on. I'll blow it off. It'll just be a minute. I gotta go. I am a god. Okay, here is the final look. The only thing I had to buy for this entire costume was this heart print sweatshirt, which I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And then also the heart earrings I have on and the necklace, which I'll do a little close up of now. So this is the necklace. It looks not identical, but similar to hers. And she had pink earrings, but I'm just doing these diamond rhinestone heart ones. And then of course the iconic pink shoes. This is as close as I could get. She did like lace hers up the leg over the jeans, which is giving me like cringe, but it's okay. It was like mid 2000s. It's just how we roll. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's super easy costume to do, honestly. It's pretty much just all in the makeup. So anyways, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out and thank you so much for watching.